Hello, Facebook. It is Bill, the knee pain guru, the best in the world at eliminating knee pain without drugs, shots, or surgery. Today, I got a question here from Gustavo. Gustavo worked with my program a few years ago, and he had uh, a question that we're going to cover. It's regarding, um, it would be like scar tissue, uh, lumps or bumps that is on the patella tendon. The patella tendon is the tendon that holds your kneecap in place. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Uh, just give a few more minutes. If you have questions regarding uh, knee pain, uh, pain, issues with the knee, healing the body, uh, put those in the question uh, or the comment section below and I will get to those in just a moment. Um, I'm actually going to tag Gustavo. And G-U-S-T. There you are. Okay. So, uh, Gustavo got notified of this. So, the question on patella tendon. Um, what is, it said, Bill, what is the best way to treat bumps or lumps? Don't know what the correct term is. Gustavo's first language is Spanish just so you know, uh, is in the patella tendon, patellar tendon. I got one surfacing after six or eight months after surgery. Since then, I haven't had any problems or pain. Maybe after intense exercise, a tingle. Um, would ultrasound, massage, is it a good idea to break up that scar tissue? Thank you. Okay, so this is scar tissue. We're going to talk about scar tissue in the knee specifically. And uh, however, this is going to apply to any scar tissue in the body in general. There is two ways, two ways to address scar tissue in the body. There is a direct approach and there is an indirect approach. A direct approach is going to be painful. A direct approach in breaking up scar tissue is going to look like sticking a knuckle or an elbow or they have some type of uh, different massage tools that will actually get in on a spot like a, a stone or a crystal or something like that which puts pressure on the scar tissue that can be painful and the idea is uh, that it's going to break down that scar tissue. The key with that, especially when you're breaking down the scar tissue directly, is breathing. Because what's happening when you're putting pressure on the scar tissue is that it's, uh, it's increasing the tension in the nervous system, which means the, the body is going into a sympathetic state or a fight or flight state. This is painful. It's causing the body to tense up. And when the body is in that sympathetic state, <laughs> hey, Don, hey, Joe, uh, so the point of it is break down the, the scar tissue directly using one of those um, knuckle, elbow, or you know a stone or something like that that is actually going to um, help the scar tissue get reabsorbed into the body. Don, I'm going to have a hard time doing this one <laughs> with you giving me giving me shit in the background. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's a direct approach for breaking down scar tissue. Now I will point out that scar tissue, also known as connective tissue or fascia, adheres at the site of an injury. So when we get uh, twist an ankle, we uh, cut our finger, um, you get a uh, broken bone or something like that, the body takes this fascia or connective tissue and puts it in the area that is designed to protect the part of the body that got injured. It's good and it's functional for that injury. However, going back into our life without this injury, it becomes a hindrance or it can be dysfunctional for the body. Breaking down the scar tissue is valuable. However, it can be very painful, especially shortly after an injury. So the other approach is an indirect approach. And an indirect approach is going to use comfort. 
going to use the nervous system's ability to unwind and let go of the tension that's built up in that place of uh, protection in the fascia or connective tissue. Now we're referring to it as scar tissue. Uh, it will unwind and let go. So to give you like an analogy of these two different ways, these two different approaches, a direct approach is going to be like taking a rolling pin and ironing out or rolling out the scar tissue. The indirect approach is going to look like taking a knotted ball of yarn and finding out where the edges are or where we can pull the string and undo the knots in the yarn uh, very specifically, very um, methodically. Now, both of them are useful. Both of them are valuable. However, it depends on the level of pain the knee is in. If the knee's in a ton of pain, you don't want to use an, a direct approach because you're causing more pain. So if you're already in pain, it's very difficult to get out of pain or break up the scar tissue if you're putting yourself through pain. That's where an indirect approach would be very valuable and you're using your nervous system's um, innate ability to unwind and let go of the tension. Now what am I talking about? Your nervous system is constantly shifting from a fight or flight state to a rested and relaxed state. When it is, when it is in a rested and relaxed state or a parasympathetic state, its ability to heal itself increases exponentially. So if your body's in a lot of pain, it's already in a sympathetic state or a fight or flight state. If we continue to push it into a sympathetic state that slows down the healing process, the key is to get the body into a parasympathetic state or a rested and relaxed state. When it's in pain, we get it into that relaxed state, this is going to speed up the healing process. So the key with that is through comfort. And what I refer to when um, I work with clients is teaching them how to do pain pattern interrupts, which is getting the pressure off of the nerves that are causing the irritation or the pain. Now, Gustavo, to get specifically... Um, you were talking about these lumps. They said they don't necessarily hurt. So you can probably use a direct approach, which is going to be like kind of massaging those places out. Uh, I've gotten a lot of benefit from using castor oil with the scar tissue like that. Um, ultrasound can break it up. I've also used um, one of those laser pointers. I had a friend of mine who was a chiropractor that had suggested that I use a laser pointer in and around the scar on my knee um, that helped break down scar tissue. Right now, there is absolutely no scar tissue in where the uh, ACL reconstruction took place in my knee. Uh, so I would use the massage in conjunction with the castor oil. Uh, a good one, also another good one is, um, what's the name of it? I've used DMSO. DMSO, is, they use it a lot on horses. You got to be careful with DMSO because it absorbs it directly into your um, system. It, like it absorbs in the body very quickly. So if your skin's not, not clean, you know, you'd want to do it after you took a shower and put it on that area. Um, to help break that up. Uh, the thing is, is I would take, in your case, take the scar tissue to pain tolerance and then back off. Take the scar tissue to pain tolerance with a direct approach and then back off with an indirect approach uh, and allow it to recover faster. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hey, Don. Joe, if anyone has any questions regarding, um, we're talking about scar tissue or knee pain or whatever the case is, please uh, ask them in the questions section below. Um, and I'll answer them. You got me uh, live here on between calls today. I uh, normally have calls at this time. However, it's uh, it freed up a little bit. 
So, Gustavo, that should, I think that should answer your question. Um, and just keep working it. Just keep massaging it. And it it goes away. It actually gets really, really, um, the skin gets kind of thin where the scar was. And sometimes there'll be an indentation like where the scar scar tissue used to be. Hey, Kim, what's up? What's going on? Where are you in the world today? Hey, Tyler. Let's see. Yeah, this is... Uh, sometimes knee pain can be a little bit of a dry topic. However, <laughs> I think I'm putting the fun back in knee dysfunction. Anyhow, okay, well, we got five people watching right now. Let me know what questions you have in and around knee pain, scar tissue, breaking down scar tissue, anything you got going on. For those that are watching the replay, you could find me on Facebook, on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And uh, on my website, thekneepainguru.com. I'll put that in the, the comments section. Well, I don't think we're getting any more questions. So, if we aren't getting any more... Oh, there we go. She's in the... Kim, you're in the kitchen at the moment, making lunch. You've castor oil for many approaches. Yeah. Yeah, castor oil works really well. It has this, it has this interesting numbing kind of effect. Um, it's not overt. However, it has like this slight numbing kind of effect that... Um, I remember it making my knee feel... Um, well, I guess numb. That was like That was about the best way I could describe it. But, okay. Well, I'm going to have to jump on another call here shortly. Uh, thank you all for being here. If you have any questions about your knees, put them in the comics, comment section below. Hey, Oleg. There was, a, there was a judo guy. Or you were Sambo, I believe. Anyhow, we're talking about knee pain. We're talking about breaking down scar tissue. And um, a lot of good stuff as far as that goes. Um... So if you have questions, put them in the comments section below. If you don't, if you don't catch this while I'm on the, on the call here, go to my um, my uh, page on Facebook, thekneepainguru.com, um, or I'm sorry, in Facebook, the Knee Pain Guru. Uh, ask a question in there. That'll come to me, and I'll answer it on future live feeds. This will address what's going on. Oleg, are you good? Do you have a question? around knee pain something going on I'll be able to help and if not we're going to wrap this up here shortly doesn't look like any questions okay thank you all for showing up it's a pleasure being able to help be of service and this is Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, going to sign off for today. Have a wonderful day and make it a good one.